everybody welcome back we're doing another marvel future revolution video in this one we're going to be looking at scarlet witch yet again specifically skills what part of the skills we're going to be looking at animation timing tracking and just basically the ease of being able to hit something uh one of the things that you i said this in my other video you can't just simply um look at a skills damage or how much cooldown it is and go yeah that's the one i want to use you've got to factor in a lot of different things so we're going to be looking at those sort of things i'm going to be doing some duels uh walk through it and then we'll do kind of a culmination a little bit at the end and i'll let you know kind of what i think so if you're new to the channel check out the discord link in the description below hammer down like buttons click notification bells all that sort of thing to help the algorithm if you'd like uh, this is going to be probably a little bit longer video, but uh, I figured I wanted to show you guys sort of the how to make the sausage in some of this, and we will have a summation as well. Want to thank Th Mamba for also helping me with these duels, so let's get to it. Bring me Wolverthor! I'm going to go through each set of skills. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do these five. I'm going to do the the, the, uh, the A section here. I call this A, B, C, D. So the, I'm going to do these first five A, and then I'm going to go through and do the first five B, the first five C, the first five D, and then we'll do the last three uh, as well and kind of focus on that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get Mamba, and we will go ahead. And now he's uh, basically not going to do anything. I'm just going to see how hard it is to hit him how long it takes to hit things. Uh, Mamba just is gonna run around a little bit uh, and that's it. And we're gonna keep it that simple. We got hex protection, hex energies. We got some chaos, we got some more hex energy. So we'll do uh, first hex bolt, which is line one, skill A. See how hard it is uh, to hit them. All right, let's see. And Okay, so it hit them. Let's see if it tracks a little bit. Um, See the range. All right, so that does track a little bit. He's even running around some hex bolt, a, a hex. Yeah, so that's pretty solid, I'd say. It doesn't hit hard, but that's that's fine. So this first one, yeah, that's a tracking one. Uh, I like that a bit. So, and he can't get out of it. All right, let's check the second one. Okay, now that stinks. So PVP wise, chaos, uh, chaos judgment. That's that's like, I mean, that is. Look how. I mean, the, the second two hit go to him, but that's that's nothing you know i that is that cooldown is so terrible all right so i'm gonna uh make a note of that one uh let's see all right c here is psychonesis hex energy hex smash i i think that i don't so there's a couple bolts i think those are i wonder if that's a basic that just comes after all right i'm gonna try to do this again here and all right, that's easy to get out of as well. So that one is also stinks. So let's try the next one here. Language of Demise, Chaos, or Humanity Collapsing. Okay, that's also terrible to get. And the last one here is Witch's Darkness, Witch's Pursuit. All right, see if he gets hit by those. He's gonna keep running. All right, he got hit that time, but I wonder if he can outrun those. We're gonna test that one more time. He tried to outrun that. All right, we'll test that last one one more time. All right, try to outrun these uh, balls as best you can. All right, the rain. All right, let's see if he can just keep outrunning those. Do they ever stop? Okay, so they track, but you can't outrun them. Okay, and then this one, that is so easy. That is just trash. All right, let's see if I can. So if I get close to him, like how quick? Okay, yeah, he dashes, gets out of the way, and then this one again trash all right that one is also trash you can get out of the way but this one that one tracks so i like that so if i get close yeah all right those are just it's easy to run away from those all right they're pretty slow all right so for this one now we've got we've now we're now in uh the b column for all these these first five so you can see we're in the b column for all those first ability i got here is a hex energy hex lightning so we'll see all that if i can go ahead and get them on that all right all right that looks like it's tracking too and does a little bit of a hit on it all right um let's do that one more time so we've only got four seconds left and then we'll jump to the next one here all right see if we can get them 
All right, yeah, that leaves a dot on, which is pretty nice. The next one we've got is Chaos Dimension Energy. So we'll see. Okay. Uh, let's see if... Try to... That looked like it was a pretty quick animation. And it was pretty easy to get him on. And that, again, was Hex and Lightning. Let's see if we can get this Dimension Energy for Chaos on him again. All right, so I can get him a little bit. Um, and this is actually not bad. Now, Mamba's straight up running around quite a bit. So... I think this isn't bad as far as locations go. Um, I mean, it gets them a little bit. Then it gets the instability on them, so I, I don't mind that. The third one we've got here is a Hex Energy Hex Illusion. Oh, that's terrible. Wow. Okay, let's try to land that on them again. All right, that, yeah, see that? That Chaos Dimension Energy one's good, but this, this third one, the Hex Energy Hex Illusion, where she throws the cars... That's pretty tough uh, to land. Um, yeah, that that's just that that might be decent for PVE, but that is not going to last in PVP at all. All right, we're still in the B skill sets for the first five. We're going to do uh, Chaos Gift of Silence here, which is the fourth ability. All right. OK, so that even while running that landed on him, even though it was far away. The other one we've got is Witchcraft, which is Sphere. I think this one tracks. Yeah. Oh, only a couple of them track, though. Interesting. I know I'm not going to hit him with that. All right, let's try the Chaos Gift of Silence again as he's running around. All right, so that one hits really well. And then, but Witchcraft, which is fear. I mean, there's only two balls there that get him, and that's pretty much it. I mean, the, the animation speed's not bad, but it's just really... I don't know if all four of those. Yeah, that's, you know what? I actually, those, I think those are my basics that are hitting them. All right, so that's pretty easy to land. But this one, uh, that's, oh, that's so weird. It doesn't track to him, but it hits him. Uh, so again, looking at witchcraft, which is sphere here. So I'm doing that. I'm moving so I don't do anything to him. Yeah, that seems to track somehow. That's very interesting there's that again so and that's that's a pretty good tracking one and then which is fear i'm gonna do that one more time it'll be the last hit here let's see i'm gonna do it from a little bit further away all right yeah so that does track that's those are both pretty solid all right, we're doing we're doing the C line here, the third ability. All right, the first ability here is the uh, a hex skill, hex energy. It's called hex wave. I get a barrier, um, and it seems though, even though that animation is off to the side, it still hits them. The second one we got is chaos storm. Oh, that's terrible. That's you're never gonna hit anybody with that. Third one here, we've got hex strike. That's same thing. You're not gonna hit anybody with that. All right, we're going to do the Chaos Storm again because of cooldowns. Yeah, that's that's just trash. You're never going to... That's maybe PvE. You're never going to get anybody there. And this is the first ability, Hex Wave. So that one, even though the animation doesn't seem to hit, it's actually getting them there. The other two are bad. The fourth one here, Runic Absorption. Let's see if we can land that. No. Oh, wrong button, actually. Let's see. Okay, that one appears to chase, and it had the curse on them, so that's good. So rune up absor absorption is pretty solid. Witchcraft, uh, which is field here. Oh, actually, hold on. So that that's just where it's just see like I can chase him here with my with my though it's not yeah it's hitting him a little bit. So again, I'm gonna try to hit him with this, which is the runic absorption. So that's tracking. All right. So again, this one the hex energy hex wave tracks. The this one is trash. The chaos storm. And then we've got the, uh, what is that one? The Hex Strike, pretty bad. Runic Absorption, tracks. All right, so the, that, that one's not too bad. All right, we're starting again with this Witch's uh, Force Field one. I want to see if I can, how many hits I can get on him here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it does constantly hit there, but you have to... You have to have that up. Uh, so that's okay. Again, Runic Absorption. Let's see if I can land it on him. It, it, that one seems to track decently. Again, these other, these first two are so bad with uh, the Hex Strike and the uh, Chaos Storm. Those are just so friggin' bad. The Barrier one, that's, that's actually pretty good. I really like that one a lot. 
this one is i'd probably do barrier storm in this one this one gets to be a little bit tough um yeah someone's got to hit stand there and it looks like it constantly hits them which is okay uh that might be decent for a pve situation but again that's a witchcraft ability so of, of those four uh we got a couple pretty bad ones some track but uh solid all right so this one you can see the top first five skills we're going with the column d for each one of these same same thing with mamba all right the first ability here is a hex energy hex force field let's see it um i didn't i'll have to watch next time to see if that hits better the next one here we've got chaos chaos sphere that uh well that could attract the third one is hex meteor all right that one tracks a bit i like that all right so again back to the first one hex force field all right that didn't hit so i do get a force field which is nice the second one again chaos sphere all right that one tracks and then again the third one which is hex meteor tracks so um those are the first three are pretty good again hex force field all right, so it, I, I just have to be within reasonable distance. And then this is Hex Meteor. Again, tracking. And then Chaos Sphere, which is also tracking. So I like all... The first three are pretty good. Uh, you just got to be within certain distance there of that Hex Force Field again. If you're near him, he gets some damage. And then the, the, the Hex Meteor, definitely tracking, as well as the Chaos Sphere tracking as well looks like that hits pretty hard too that chaos fear actually if you're looking at chaos that seems to be the one to maybe get i think of that line too that's my favorite and then there's a little explosion and to finish it off we've got a chaos sphere or a hex meteor all right and then we'll do the next two in the next round all right so we're trying the first one here uh this is still set d we're trying runic wither it's a chaos all right so that actually hit him okay so that's decent the other one here which is descent all right so that track that's good now the the thing here is you want to be able to do is you get more damage if you dash through them so if they're moving it's hard to land that one we'll do the uh the line four one with the chaos which is the runic wither so if they're anywhere near you that looks like it lands decently that animation is reasonable the last skill there with the three circles, which is Witch's Descent. I want to try to see if I can dash through them here. That's the key here. So I don't dash through them, but those balls track, which is nice. But so I, I could see that being decent for PV. Actually, you know what? Well, it does do defense down. So that could be decent for PVE. But I think PVP, it, it could be hard to land that. Uh, I just can't get it to land. He, I mean, anybody who's moving around. See, that's where that other one, Runic Wither, is hard. So if he's just a little bit away um that won't land i wonder if that with that runic wither let's see if i can get a dash through him again nope still can't dash through him um let's see if with this runic wither if try to stand i'm gonna try to stand semi close to you see if you can get in between one of the uh the, these things that pop off of me okay that's interesting so it those look like they might have to directly hit him which i don't love that so runic wither um i really i don't like that one at all honestly all right for this last round we're doing the bottom three and it, and it's all in uh skill set a all right first one we got here is hex energy hex break let's see what happens here if i can um that might have just hit him because i was close we'll see if again the second one here is a witchcraft reality fold all right, that actually and what that does is that just decreases damage received so that's a that's more of a buff so that's just solid let's see if i can land this hex break again on him all right that does sort of track a little bit i'll try it again and again this doesn't oh that does do some damage to him okay uh so that's just an explosion let's see if i can all right so that that uh hex break does do decently the last one here it just creates an illusion so let's see what happens here um just all right so the illusion tracks them um looks like does a few different uh all right that's wow it does a, a number of different abilities there all right so that's okay it does do some tracking here again we're gonna try the hex break tracking yeah animation somewhat slow reality fold it's got a decent range on it damage received is decreased again hex break yeah i'm hitting them every time with that illusion 
We'll start tracking him. High speed hex. Damage received. Uh, that illusion is sort of fun, honestly. I kind of like that illusion. It's kind of neat. Uh, it's it's hitting decently, all things considered. All right, so those are all pretty solid. I, I, I don't mind those. All right, this one, the last three ones were in that B column again for all three of those. Ooh, I wonder if I can get your guard gauge below 50 on this. I'm going to try that. Okay, so this first ability is Heck Explosion. I could subdue them if I get their guard break underneath 50%. So I'm going to just sort of attack them quite a bit to see if I can get that guard gauge down. Um, we're just going to see how it kind of goes there. I'm not sure how much. So I'm, I'm focusing. Oh, he's already building up. So, all right. My skill, I might, maybe this might be a damage thing more than anything. All right, let's get it a little bit lower. All right, I think that might be decent. I'm gonna hit him one more time with a different ability. All right, so he should be underneath 50% guard break. I'm gonna see if I can use that. All right, so is he subdued? Uh, it doesn't look like it, but he's got underneath 50 guard break. So I'm just gonna keep hitting him and try that subdue again. Cause I wanna make sure, I know I'm hitting the other ones. All right, so he's definitely under 50% guard break there. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna get it. All right, there's the subdue. All right, so it looks like that's super hard to land now. So even though he's under 50, um, I've got to be able to hit him with it, which seems to be really hard. So yeah, just stand there for a second. Mom, I want to see if, if I hit you here, if it actually... That's not doing anything. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't see anything happening with that. So the second one there, Witchcraft Teleportation Wave... Uh, it doesn't look like... We'll have to go through those last two again. But that, that subdue just didn't... It didn't do anything. All right, so the uh, the second one that we're trying here is what is a witchcraft one. It's called Teleportation Wave. So it teleports towards the enemy, but if they're moving, forget about it. Uh, that was uh, that was no good. It didn't do much of anything. We'll try it again here. Yeah, that, that tracks terribly. So if anybody's moving... That's not going to do much for you at all. We'll try it a, a, a third time. You know, any, I mean, and this is how PvP works is people are running around a lot. People aren't standing there. So yeah, I mean, that that's never going to land ever. That's terrible. Uh, all right. Witchcraft Terror Assault it says teleport to a uh, enemy and do an AOE. So we'll see if we can get this one. All right. That one's a little bit quicker. So that one is actually reasonable to land. I think I could land that one decent and it decreases their movement speed by 40 or by 40% for five seconds. So I like that one quite a bit. Yeah, that one's solid. If you want to get somebody slowed down a bit, like look at how slow he is. That That is a good ability there as far as wanting to slow people down uh, in, a, in a, a PVP setting. It's just like, yep, see him. And then at that point, maybe you do some, do some stuff that's, you know, well, see, he could still get out of that one, unfortunately. But... You know, maybe that's when you consider a combo move where you get the slow. You know, he's slowed. It's like, okay, so no, can I land anything else? I don't know. Maybe did some damage. I at least landed that uh, teleportation wave, but it doesn't hit that hard and it doesn't do any real uh, damage. So I'm not sure I really care about it, but I will say the terror assault at least teleports the enemy. It's a good tracker. All right. Well, now we've got C on each one of these. And I do want to add that for that subdue one, Mamba just let me know that he did have a breakout button there, so it works fine. Uh, so that that subdue one, which was the hex release, uh, and it was the hex explosion once they get under 50% guard uh, gauge. So that could be a nice thing to do if you're breaking someone's guard uh, gauge down a bit and you want to lock them down. Okay, first one up here, we've got hex pinpoint. Uh, it looks like I'm supposed to, uh, I can pull them in with it. Oh, that is so long. Oh my gosh, that animation's way too long. You're never going to land that. That could be good for PvE, but not anything else. There is no chance in PvP you are ever, ever going to land that. Like, I look, I, hey, let's hang out over here, everybody. Like, no. All right, Witchcraft Death Chain. This isn't Chain AoE. Uh, and you can see that confuses them and silences them. So that tracks. That's fantastic. Again, I'm trying to land this pull-in thing. It's... That might be good in like a group setting PvP, but not in a solo. And again, here's the death chain. That tracks. I love that. That's friggin' phenomenal. The last one we got on here is Witchcraft Shadowy Terror. Uh, it just makes me invisible. So I don't think Mamba can see me. So maybe, I don't know, I could do something quick, but now I'm up again. So again, that 
man that is just the animation on that is so bad i love that one i wonder if i can confuse them yeah no so those are pretty solid i, I mean the the gravity one this one is just yep and it doesn't even have a good range on it he wasn't even that far from that and then I go invisible and it's like, all right, see if I can get him, uh, get sucked in. I mean, maybe if you got someone trapped in a corner, that might work, but nah, that hex gravity is pretty bad. All right. So this is the last one we got last three skills all on that D column. All right. So this first one's called hex. It's a hex energy one. It's called hex gravity. I assume this pulls them in or something, or right, it's, it's supposed to be a knockdown. So yeah, again, that's too slow, man. You're, you, I mean, that might be decent in a group setting, but you're never going to land that on anything moving. Um, yep, nope, no chance. Uh, all right, the next one we've got here is a Witchcraft Reality Warp. Uh, but this is that, this just gives me all gauge. That's it. So I love that ability. It's amazing, but it's not going to do anything. Um, Mamba, just next time I tell you stand in that, uh, that hex gravity, I just want to see if it, you know... I want to, I don't know, just, just watch you get knocked down, I guess. So I didn't even knock him down. That's hilarious. All right. Um, all right. And then the last one we got here is terror consumption. This is an iframe, which zaps through and it, it's supposed to give me uh, a bo uh, attack bonus. So you can see that I, it's, it, it doesn't track your enemy very well and it doesn't land. There's that gravity again. Can't do it. Here's some alt gauge recovery, which is nice. I'm invincible during that. And this last one, the Witchcraft Terror Consumption, which gives you an attack boost and is an iframe when you dash, but you can tell it's really hard. Oh, so that explosion did hit him. So that's good to see that it can get it. And I'm getting an attack buff as I'm doing this, but the, the hex gravity is just trash, 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 trash. So uh, yeah, that's all the skills. We're gonna look at, see which ones we think uh, might be a good build and maybe do a naked fight. Okay, so the build I'm going to play with here, you can see I've got a Hex one, I've got a Chaos one, I've got another Chaos one, I've got a Witchcraft, and I've got another Hex. So two Hex, two Chaos, and a Witchcraft. So my first one that I've got is a Barrier. Uh, it is a long cooldown and a decent amount of Stam. It, it does a decent amount of damage, though. I like it. Second one we've got is a Chaos. Um, this particular Chaos, just I'm just trying to get some uh, a curse out there. Uh, again, decent damage. Uh, this one in particular is 2D. Two, two um, it, it did do some tracking, so I liked it. The third one, another chaos ability here. Get some more curses out there, uh, some more damage that can be done to somebody. Not a high damage percentage, but um, what is this? Uh, 4B. Is 4B one tracked okay as well? The fourth ability I got in here is the movement speed slowdown one. I thought that this one was okay. What is this? This is 8B. I, I sort of like that uh, you could teleport them and and it, you could actually decrease their movement uh, a decent amount. I, I liked that. There was the one that was a little bit of wave. I'm going to try this one first. And then last but not least, I did. I'm going to just check and see if I can do this subdue, if this makes sense or not. This would probably be the first one I ditch out of the entire group. 315, 788 naked, Mamba's 360. This is no holds barred. We're just going to fight each other. We're going to see how it goes. He's not holding back anything. I am not going to hold back, even though I've never really used her. So, but whatever. We're going to see. That, that'll that give us a good gauge to see how this kind of goes. This should be fun. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to chat through this a little bit and see how it goes. And um, I'm very curious to see if, I mean, one, the build that I picked might be terrible. I don't know. But I'm just, I wanted to play around with things that could track a little bit things that were fairly quick and see if that subdue thing can ever make uh its way onto here so let's let's see how this goes my oh, i was hitting the wrong button there so there's a slow yeah I'm I am getting smoked right now. I'm barely doing any damage at all. So that that's one thing that uh, is definitely a problem here is that I am doing zero. Look at the amount of damage I did to him versus he did to me was. So I'll we'll try that again. We're just gonna click retry, but that was eek 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 eek. There's nowhere near enough damage on that.
That, that, that ability takes long. That one's pretty long too. Ooh, guard break. Blind. Yeah, look at, I mean, man, just no damage at all. That is brutal. Um, I'm gonna look at my specializations real quick uh, to see if that changes anything. So looking at these, uh, the, the, the specs that I have, they're not bad. You know, the stam recovery is pretty good. The uh, it damage uh, dealt to a target or a status effect, you can use that. Increased movement speed. Uh, that's not bad for PvP, and uh, the increased status effect accuracy is not bad as well. The other stuff that we'd be looking at, uh, increase all skill damage, eh, okay. Uh, actually, so this one increases all skill damage dealt to enemies by 3%, uh, and the required stamina. Like, I, I don't love that one. All right, we got that one. Immune to status effects, eh, maybe. Fires magic that spreads, eh. Critical hit applied, three max damage hit, maybe. Max damage rate increase. Increases targets cooldown. This one could I get to be seen by when using a chaos skill. I could see wanting to use this one. I just don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess, you know what I'll, you know what I'll do is I will go, um, I'm gonna bring all my purple mats to her and see if uh, switch, build that in from, uh, the stuff I got a widow. All right, so I got the chaos control one up to level eight. I couldn't get it to nine. So I am going to switch that one. Let's see, which one do we want to use? You know, I'm going to ditch this one and then I'm going to switch for the purple one and I'm going to go to that top one here. All right, so that's our new spec tree. All right, so Mamba was talking to also thought maybe his uh, widow was at 360 uh, with a lot more potential in it than his Iron Man. So he switched to Iron Man. We're going to see if that makes much of a difference. If this doesn't make much of a difference, I think I might try to change uh, a couple of the skills to maybe find a couple things that are a little bit more damage do, uh, or give me a little bit more damage. See what you can do here, witch. She's definitely generally slow. I like that the, the dodge thing, but my my cooldowns it, it is tough to. Oh, I'm just locked in the ground there. Look at those knockdowns nonstop. Couldn't. Owie, guard breaking. So she's still got rock. We're going to do that one more time. If if that one gets, um, if that one, if the second one is that bad again, uh, I'm going to try to just change more skills now. And this is one of the things where some more studying, I'd say, has to be done and just actually playing with them and sequencing the skills together. When I picked these, it was, I probably spent five minutes just real quickly going, ah, I like that one. I remember that one. And let's do that one. So at this point, the next step is going to be a real, like, I'd say a deep dive into like reviewing those and really going, all right, I like this one. I don't like that one. That could be, end up being like a 45 minute video too, where it's just kind of a, you know, something to kind of check out and look at. I'm just using that now, even though I know Man, my guard, I get guard broke so easily too. Oh, Owie. Look at that, all those knockdowns by those stupid Iron Men. Need a little bit more barrier. I do like the barrier ability, that's pretty nice. Look at, look at how long I have on my cooldowns, just taking forever. Just sitting here waiting for all my cooldowns to come up. All right, 
well, finally got one, but it was close. So, you know, look, I think there's a lot to be played here. I like some of the, the flexibility that Scarlet Witch has. Um, you know, I'm going to do some more videos where I'm really looking deep into those things uh, and probably do stuff like this, whether it be with Mamba uh, or someone else in the Alliance where we're just testing some of the, the builds a little bit to see if we can find a way to do naked fights where it, you know, you erase all the power and just go, okay, this seems to be pretty good. Now, one of the things I do want everybody to remember is that sometimes builds become more legitimate if you cross a certain threshold of stam recovery or cooldown uh, or crit rate stuff like that it makes a difference so while a, a build might not work naked it could work with the right stats so anyway i appreciate you guys making this long uh like i mentioned in the beginning of the video check out the discord link in the description below it's probably the easiest way to follow along content if you want to help out that youtube al youtube algorithm hammer down the like buttons click notification bell subscribe that sort of thing again shout out to mamba appreciate your time buddy until next time i hope all you guys have a wonderful day